Ron L. Nolan, President, CEO, Health Agents for America, Monday News. Last week was a whirlwind. It was full of excitement, full of great meetings, and I can honestly say I'm just a little bit exhausted. I arrived in Washington, D.C. on Monday, um, had a meeting with Michael Keegan to kind of plan out what we were going to accomplish for the week, and then Tuesday morning started off strong, and Michael, Pat Cassell from Nevada, and I hit the hill. Our first meeting was with Congressman Scalise's office, and then we um, did some drop-ins, met the new Georgia uh, representative, a uh, senator, I'm sorry, new Georgia senator that I think she'd only been there a couple of weeks. Um, and a couple of more just drop-in visits. We also met with Congressman Graves. And at the end, I'll give you a little bit of update of what of those uh, calls were about, but um, those meetings were about, but just wanted to give you a little bit of update of our schedule. And also, um, we had dinner with Dean Mose from the Federal Marketplace, and that was great to catch up with um, Dean. Of course, we were there during the impeachment hearings. So we had breakfast scheduled for Wednesday with Senator Cortez and Rosen from Nevada, and they had canceled their breakfast because of, of course, the impeachment hearings. We did on um, Wednesday add Miss Michelle Kirkwood from Nevada. So we, we were a team of four on Wednesday. We met with Congressman Ralph Abraham's uh, staff and uh, Congressman Susie Lee from uh, Nevada, Congressman Clay Higgins from Louisiana, and Joe, Joe Courtney from Connecticut, and then Congressman uh, Amadi from Nevada. Great meetings. And then on Thursday, uh, we added Jennifer Lovett from Connecticut and saw Senator Chris Murphy and Senator Blumenthal from Connecticut. Some of the things that we talked about, we were trying to bring some answers, uh, some solutions versus just talking about problems. We talked about robocalls. The, um, our suggestion being that there is an, a disclosure for someone who buys something over the phone, um, knowing exactly whether it's a insurance plan, ACA compliant, not ACA compliant, Christian ministry plan, short-term medical plan, whatever they're buying, that there should be a way for them to to um, sign a disclosure, they understand exactly what they are buying. Um, there's been a lot of legislation about robocalls, but nothing that went as deep as what we brought to the table. And honestly, we had some interest. Uh, the other thing we talked about, of course, was drug transparency, the fact that um, pharmaceutical drug prices are out the roof, and the fact that uh, we said, what about thinking of starting to manufacture generic drugs in specific states or in each of our states to compete with pharma and try to bring those rates down. There were some offices that were very receptive to those uh, suggestions. I will say that we had wonderful meetings, Democrat and Republican. Both sides were very interested in what we said. We talked about the surprise billing and the fact that the end result that we would like is that our consumers and our clients are held harmless. So whatever that looks like. Uh, on the Senate side, we know that there is one that Senator Alexander has, some bipartisan and e even some House buy-in. And then on the House side, there's some ways and means, there's a ways and means, and there's an energy and commerce, two different uh, proposals. One thing that we heard that was very uh, kind of exciting and interesting is within those committees, they are bipartisan. So the Republicans and Democrats are working on um, each one of the committees on their specific bill. So we'll be able to find out probably pretty soon um, which one comes to light, which one might have more traction. We're hearing the on the House side, maybe the energy and commerce might have a little bit more traction, but um, we just basically want it to be solved. We did a lot of talk about uh, RX transparency and what, as agents and brokers, we can do as far as education, uh, using good RX, um, talking to our folks about looking for the cheapest place to find the medicine until legislati legislatively, either federal or state, they can figure out a way to bring the uh, cost down. 
In Connecticut, you all know that they have banned short-term medical and Christian ministry plans. We did talk to those folks about their, they play a role. We do need full disclosure on what people are buying and we do need to get rid of the good, the bad eggs, but there are good eggs and they need to be brought to the forefront. Um, the Hoffa Summit, we will have someone speaking on Christian ministry plans. So uh, I encourage you to come and listen. If you've never heard about them or you've been very leery, this might help you make a decision um, with all the facts. And that's important to have all the facts. Um, we talked about COBRA being, um, uh, being able to be used for uh, Part B in Medicare, that it is... You know, it is a credible coverage for D, but not B. That was something that we definitely talked to uh, those in Washington about and to see if there was some legislation. We had a lot of buy-in from Cong Congressman um, uh, Graves from Louisiana. Just said, you know, bring him the bill. Bring him bills. He is ready to run with bills to do with health care that will help us. Uh, so if you have an idea, please join our legislative team and let us know what your thoughts are. Uh, we're being proactive. We don't want to be reactive. We want to try to address these things before they happen um, and try to get some things on the books. On Wednesday night, I was very honored to be um, to attend a dinner, well, uh, a cocktail um, reception at the home of the ambassador to France. And Jennifer Lovett from Connecticut went with me. It was an exciting night. We met the ambassador. We met the council de general um, that is in Louisiana representing France. And also in attendance were several Louisiana legislators. The new Speaker of the House, Clay Shakespeare, who is one of Hoffa's great friends, and um, President of the Senate, Paige Cortez, Senator Paige Cortez, who has been a friend of Hoffa. Um, for many, many, many years, what way when he was on the House side. So it was great to see those folks. We also saw um, Representative Huval, who was thrown in at his hat for chairman of House Insurance. We do know that um, uh, Kirk Talbert will be the chair of Senate Insurance. So I'm going to very blatantly ask for your PAC dollars. Uh, we're going to need to um, give out some PAC dollars before Louisiana's uh, session, and we'll need PAC dollars for uh, the rest of the nation. In Louisiana, as you know, and in most states, the President of the Senate and the Speaker of the House are the people that decide what bills are going to be heard, and if your bill gets in trouble, what committees are formed around them. So I can't tell you how important these two positions are and how important it is that we show love to um, those two individuals that's had our back and been our support for all these years. Um, I fly back to D.C. on tomorrow uh, for the HRA meeting with CMS on Wednesday. I'm excited to hear what they have to say and what information I can bring back to you. We might do a live from there and, and talk to some of the folks that are representing Hoffa that will be in that meeting. And then March 25th will be a CMS roundtable for those in the federal marketplace. So if that's something that you are interested in, Hoffa will be allowed to give a handful list of folks to represent us. Um, I will be picking from those. So if you're interested, please send me your name. Let me know you'd like to go March 25th. Of course, it's on your dime. Um, but it will be a very intimate meeting with the powers to be that will, you know, uh, talk about some of the issues and um, let us know what to expect in the next open enrollment. And then finally, um, the summit will be here in a month. I can't tell you the, I mean, the excitement, the lineup of speakers. I've tried to make it as cheap as possible for you just to cover our cost. We have amazing sponsors. Um, we're going to hit every asset of uh, individual and group coverage that you need tools in your tool, tool chest. So please get those registrations in. Book your rooms at La Pavillon. The, I think the room closes, the room block closes February 17th. So it'll be here in a couple of weeks. 
But if you need me, please reach out. Um, I might be a little slow the next couple of days um, as I'm traveling, but I will definitely get back to you as soon as I get back. And if you need me, um, if you'd like to say something about the HRA, the ICRAs, anything you want to meet for me to bring to uh, CMS, please uh, send that up to me. And one last thing, very exciting. Hoffa was in the White House. We did a White House tour, and that was um, really, really exciting. But hope, hopefully you enjoy the pictures that we're sharing with you of all our Hoffa folks. Uh, Guy Fury from South Carolina and his beautiful bride. And I was able to um, bring my sister this year. That was her Christmas present. I paid for her to go to D.C. to hang out with us. And I think she really enjoyed it, bringing an engineer into the insurance uh, industry. But have a wonderful day, a wonderful week. Remember to sign up for the summit. And until next Monday.